I would like to show you the room that I make all my videos in. I'll be doing just that in this video. Hey everyone, Andrew here. Today, I'll be giving an updated version of my setup tour. So, I last made a setup tour about a year ago. And my setup has drastically changed since then, and that was a pretty bad video anyways. So anyways, here's an updated tour of my setup. So, we're going to start out right here. On this wall is a picture of a Guoguan Yuxiao painted by my brother. And then down here, this is a heater. This room is in the basement. I really only use it in the winter, but it does get quite cold in here since this is in the basement. Very handy to have. I have a trash can back there. These are my headphones. I use them with both my computer and my phone, and they're Bluetooth, they're awesome. It's August EP650. If you get headphones, get Bluetooth headphones, they're amazing. This charges my phone. This charges my headphones. This charges my camera. And this does not charge anything. This is actually the receiver for this remote, which controls these RGB LED lights. These are so cool. I've loved them ever since I got them. Here's my phone. It's an iPhone 6S. And then up here is a lamp. So I can have it has a few settings. I can have these two lights on, or I can have those three lights on, or I can have all of them on. Then over here, this is a glass monitor riser. Just holds my monitor off the desk so it's a little higher. The reason I have it is so that when I am not using the computer, I can push the keyboard and trackpad underneath there, and I can bring the stack mat over and put it here and do solves. I'll get to the stack mat later. So, uh, now for the stuff on here, this is what I plug my camera into when I need to import footage into my computer. That's what I'll do when I'm done recording this. This is just some mints. Fidget cube. It's not a fidget spinner. It's a fidget cube. And this is Rubik's Cube Stress Ball. That's a little plug, it has like a stopwatch and a timer built in also. And then these two glasses, this is for when I use the computer late at night and it'll block out the blue light so it doesn't make it hard to sleep. And this is for just to prevent general eye strain, so if I have to use the computer for a long time, like several hours at a time, I'll wear those. Here's a notepad and there's a pencil for it. My computer. I believe it's a 21 and a half inch screen. It's a 4K iMac, and it's really nice. Clipped onto the table right here, and also over here are my filming lights. So there are two um, LED lights, very bright. Um, when I'm gonna record a video, I move them in like that. I set the tripod up on here. And I pull the microphone over like this. So I'll show you what it looks like when I record a video. Hey everyone, Andrew here. Today I'll be showing you how I make videos. Hey everyone, Andrew here. Today I'll be showing you how I make videos. And then up here above my desk, is a picture of Minnesota Twins baseball team. The glare is terrible, but whatever. And then there's a reason for that Detroit Tigers card being there. I'm not gonna get into that. Down here, I have my speed stacks bag hanging on this lamp. That is a very nice bag. And then back here, there's a closet, has my dresser and some other stuff in it. And then over here, this white shelving unit. There is a ton of stuff on this shelving unit. So I'm just gonna start at the top. This is part of my cube collection, obviously. So over here are my mains for, for events that I do not usually practice. 
over here on this mat is some Nationals memorabilia as well as my mains for the events that I practice a lot. 2x2, two 3x3, two, three, three, 3 blind is what this symbolizes. Skube and 4x4. Four four. So I have signed 1x1 one one from Nationals 2016, signed 2x2 two two from Nationals 2017, then two business cards from 2016, this mat from 2016, this is not the one I'm giving away, this is my personal mat, and then my uh, name tag from Nationals 2017. Over here are some WCA puzzles that are not my mains. And then down on this lower shelf, we have some non-WCA puzzles. So, there are some. There are some more over here, as well as this old timer that I don't really use anymore. And then in the middle are my cubicle business cards. Continuing down, right here, this is a drawer unit. Here is my calculator. Over there are some elements cards, cube boxes, and my blindfold. And then I have this drawer unit. In the top drawer there's an old calendar. In this middle drawer is some random assorted tech stuff. I have this other camera that I used to film with. I still record with it at competitions because, you know, like, for competition videos I show two angles of me doing solos. One of them is from this video. Lots of cords, some little tripods. Just hard drive, random tech stuff. And then this bottom drawer is random cubing stuff. So, lubricants, extra stickers, just stuff like that. Down here is my bike bag. It's a bag that attaches to my bike, so I can bring stuff along when I go on bike rides. And then over here in this middle section is some awards I've gotten, as well as a baseball that I got, I caught it as a foul ball at a baseball game I went to. And then in this section is some books, old school yearbooks, and then Guinness World Record books. I have 2012 and 2015 versions. I'm going to be getting the 2018 version soon. I also have the 2001 version, which is the year I was born, so that's pretty cool. And then down in this final section of the white shelving unit, I have some math books, because I like math. So, continuing on past that shelving unit, I have a bungee cord chair. This chair is awesome. It seems like it would be uncomfortable, but it's actually pretty comfortable. It just looks awesome. Over here is a blue table that opens and I store some stuff in there. And up above all this is a timeline of the world. It goes back from like 4000 BC or something crazy long ago. And then it ends all the way at like 2013 or I don't know what the most recent thing is. But it gets pretty recent. Um, and then up above the timeline is a picture of Seattle. No, I don't live in Seattle. I live in Minnesota, but I like Seattle. Now over onto this windowsill, I have a speaker here. This speaker sounds awesome when you play music on it. And then over here is my stack mat. I don't use it here, but when I do solves, I bring it over to my computer desk and I solve there. Outside there's some plants. It's really hard to see, but I have a little fountain and some plants and some other stuff. Over in this other windowsill, I have the clock, it's also a radio, Kleenex box, and in here are the two mats that I'm going to ship soon when the giveaway ends. Then down here I have another table. There's nothing really specific that goes on this table. Same with that table there. It's just kind of like if I have extra stuff, I can put the stuff there. That's also kind of the same case with this windowsill. So now here's my bed. I have two twins hats on the bed post. Up here, I have a sign that says my name made out of license plates 
and another twins thing. Over here I have another twins thing. I also have a Vikings pennant and a Gophers pennant. And down here is a calendar. Now I really like this calendar. There is like a tile for every day of the month and also a tile for holidays. I've had it for a long time. It's really cool. And then up there above my bed is a picture of me from about two years ago. Over there I have a little bed light. And that yarn thing hanging there is actually a cat toy. By the head of my bed, I have this wooden non-functional 3x3. And over here is a bunch of twin stuff. I also have some hand sanitizer there. And then finally down here is some lotion and a makeshift bed for my cat. It's like a box with a blanket in it, he really likes it. I also have a back pillow underneath, so I can sit on my bed with the back pillow. And then we're back here, and there's my desk again. I don't know if you've noticed, you probably haven't. The markings on the floor, maybe you're wondering what they are. That is where the legs of my tripod go when I set it up to record solves at my computer desk. So when you see the camera at an angle like this, I use those markings to know where to put the tripod. So that concludes my setup tour. I really like this space. It works very well for me, and I can get all the regular stuff I need to do done in here. I don't have tons of space, and I don't have tons of stuff, but whatever. I'm still very happy with what I have here. So, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I don't know what my next video will be. My giveaway is still going on. You can still enter if you haven't already. Goodbye.